Okay, guys, so, um, whenever, even when, if you add the, um, the game capture, this is how it will look, right? Um, it will be like this. I just added the display capture now, yeah. So, what you do, yeah, you want this to be, okay, let's first go to settings. Let me show you, yeah, by, um, by video. You get your canvas resolution, and then your output resolution. Your output resolution will be, even if you close, let's say you minimize um, the Xbox app. That's now not in um, screen capture, and that's in game capture. Even if you minimize the, the Xbox app, it will not influence your stream. It will still show as one. 1920 180 frames per second is at 60 okay now that aside i'm gonna close here now so this whole thing here that your canvas this entire block is 1916 so what you do is you right click then you go to transform and you say fit to screen now it is the entire now you can see it's capturing my screen this whole block is the screen that's why you can see this part you see my my, my uh, mouse where it's moving that's why you can see it there because it's capturing this entire screen now to keep this like this you need to lock it once you lock it it won't go smaller or anything else Okay, that's the one thing. So let's quickly go through the settings before I go into. Um, so, the previous video I explained when you add the Xbox app, make sure your Xbox app is running. If it's not running, it will not pick up in the Windows section. So, it has to run. Um, now, display capture is there. So, what I'm going to do now, wherever I'm going to go on my. Um, laptop that will be shown in this block we won't be seeing this block now but that will be shown there so um let's say i go let's press the windows button and if i go to the store now you will see both of this you will see the background and that if i open this if I make this, maximize it, then that's the only thing you will see in OBS. When I minimize it, you will see. But that's only because OBS is open, guys. If I am on my um, desktop, you will not see this. Okay, so let's go quickly to the settings. Okay, here's the audio. So... Mic and auxiliary, that is your voice. The desktop audio is your game sound. So if I have to start the Xbox app now and I have to st and I start remote play and whatever I do on the Xbox, if I open a game and the game sound, that will come here. Now you can add audio here. Right? You right click. You can hide it or you can add it. You press that. Uh, why do I not know what to do? I'm going crazy. This is your settings. This is where you set. See, I've got like 10, 9% between the two. Um, audio, you also add. Yeah, you press plus. There's your audio input and your output. So this is where you add it. If you do not have a mic here, then on your stream nothing will work, and people in game also will not hear you. Not that now people in game will still hear you if you are connected remotely. Now what I want to show is make sure you've got this um, game bar. 
in this game bar, right? Let's open the Xbox app. Did I click on it now? Let's open the Xbox app. So now because the Xbox app is full screen, that's what will be captured in OBS. And um, the other thing is you you see your um mouse. When you do game capture, you will not see your mouse. Even if when you move it around, you will not see that in the stream. Okay, so now yeah. If you press there, it's gonna open a menu settings the best year by audio is to keep it on default i have set mine to this you can do the same thing if your headset is directly plugged in you can use the same settings but it's best to keep it on default if you maybe use your remote if you have a recon controller that can um, control the, the the volume and stuff but the base is this. So your input is your microphone. It must always be a microphone. Your output is your headset. Make sure noise suppression is enabled. So that's what you do here. Now, in your game bar, you go to sound. Then here you need to make sound. I put my system sound a little bit down. But make sure here, you see you're by mix now so windows default output so that's your default output that's what it will always use when your mic is your headset is connected yeah that's why it's only picking that up if i have to plug out my headset now it will um stay the same because it will use the speaker of the laptop so if you move down here now This shouldn't even be here now. But you see, there's OBS. Now, as soon as I do remote play, here where the OB OBS one is, will be a the app sign. That should also be full, guys. By voice, the same thing. There you can see it's working, the microphone. Make sure this is set to the same settings as the one that is set by the settings we just that through just before this there where you um put background suppression on um and then xbox party that's if you're in a party right party volume obviously highest you can take that down if you want to and enable noise suppression this is kind of the same settings as where you go here on top so that is to get audio in your thing so let me show you now if i go like this and I start remote play. You are still going to see this now. And you will see my mouse moving around. Because. It's moving around. Because it's, it's, it's literally capturing the screen. So if I go to back to OBS. now, But now you can even see the, the, the taskbar underneath. Because it's capturing the screen. You can see this that you normally will not see if you do game capture and you can see this so let's go this side now now what i'm gonna do is i'm going to open the xbox i'm gonna close the display capture so there's the xbox now but now if i go now i'm in the xbox app and i am moving my mouse around but you won't see it you won't see in OBS because it's only capturing the game itself. What I actually wanted to show you guys now, I'm going to switch back to display capture now. What I wanted to show you guys now is because I'm connected to the Xbox, when I, you see, when I move in the Xbox, let me show you like this. So let me go to the Xbox app. I'm gonna. If you look there nicely now, I'm gonna. I'm, I'm not gonna stop talking. Underneath is your voice. On top is my um, desktop sound. So when I move left or right, you will see the sound on top moving. And this is on um, display capture. This is not game capture. But you see there. 
it's moving. If I start a game, sorry for that sound in the background, but you see there, that's the game sound, and that's even through display capture, so that has nothing to do with your sound itself. Um, my remote is now connected to my Xbox. It can either be connected to your Xbox or it can be connected to your um, laptop itself. Um, but now, you see, you, you can see my mouse cursor while it is in capture. When I switch over to Xbox, now you only see the game capture. I'm in the app now. I'm moving the cursor around, but you can't see it. I can go to OBS now. You will know that because I'm not capturing the screen. Okay, so let me go back to um, OBS. Let's open the display capture again. Now, what I quickly want to show you guys for those who are interested in this, um, I am going to show you the settings that I have. You can use the same, you don't have to, it's all up to you. Hmm, did I open this twice now? No, I didn't. Okay, general, you leave as is. Um, I, this, the update channel, stable. Latest release, it will update automatically. But all of this, you leave as is. Okay, that, you don't change anything. Stream if you're gonna do YouTube you because we have servers local servers in South Africa You can just log into your account and it will be all fine If you are streaming to Twitch You need to go to custom and you need To get your stream key from Twitch and the relay server from your ISP That is unfortunately the only way on console to do that because you cannot like people on PC, they can fine tune certain stuff that can give them that ability to just log into their Twitch. But on console, unfortunately, you need a relay server. Okay, output. Mine is set to 10 megabytes upload, which is perfect. Encoder preset, I put mine on balance. And then all of this stuff, you guys can keep the same. This is for recording. Um, there's whole difference. I, I, I use the indistinguishable quality. It's a large file size, but I put it on MP4. Um, there's different things that you can use. MP4 just works better for me. Audio, you leave it as is. You just leave it as is. There's nothing here that you need to change. Video, like I said, change that to that. 60 FPS. Hotkeys, if you want to use this, you can use this. Like when you want to start streaming, stop streaming. I just use OBS. This, I don't use any of that. Now, here by advanced, guys. Um, leave this as is. Make sure you use the hardware. Where is that? Is it by general? Uh, I can't remember now. There is a play. Is it stream? Output. It's by output. Make sure it's on hardware. Don't use the software unless you have a really good um, PC or laptop. Otherwise, leave it on hardware, guys. Um, advance. Here is where you can put a stream delay in. You can enable it or disable it. This is good for those stream snipers, those attention seekers, those living depressions. So, you can change this here. Remember, you have to hit apply, then it takes effect, and then you say, okay, that, that, that's only, that only counts towards streaming. That doesn't count towards recording. Recording doesn't have a delay. Um, guys, and that's that. I showed you all the settings, um, how to add your audio, and how to add all the other things. So now I am going to delete this again. When you delete something, you just press on it. There's a delete button there, and you just delete it. It's going to go black now. 
because this one is not on if you close this eye let me show you with the logo quickly um, if I close that my logo is going to disappear now, all of that stuff you can create yourself um, you can have, add a webcam as well on this side by your scenes uh, you make no not your scenes sorry I'm fucking tripping um, yeah you video capture device and it will pick up your laptop's webcam and you can use it um, I'm not using mine because I don't like the quality of it during the day I can use it yes sure pa, 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 but I prefer not to okay this is a 15 minute video I don't know if it's gonna go up on um, TikTok we'll see about that so yeah guys if you need any anything else questions about this for streaming then just hit me up and let me know